What's going on guys? Today is radiator day. Uh, I know I showed a video on here a few months back where I got a crack in my radiator. I've just been running it. There's a crack. You can see it leaking water out of it there. Anyway, I got a new radiator here in this box. Uh, this is supposed to be a TIG welded all aluminum radiator. We're about to open it and find out if that's what's in there, if that's what it's supposed to be. I picked up some Napa green antifreeze coolant because it's about half price of the multi-vehicle stuff, the extended uh, drain interval stuff, and I don't usually let my antifreeze stay in there that long anyway because the water pumps on these trucks usually go out uh, semi-frequently, you know, and uh, the multi-vehicle stuff is like $16, $15, $16 a gallon. This was like half that, like eight. And uh, you know, it should be good for 40 or 50,000 miles. I'll probably have to put a water pump on it before then. Uh, I got a new Gates belt, it's in the truck. Uh, I've got a new air conditioner clutch assembly right here. It's the whole thing with the coal and everything there. Uh, the coal went out on the old compressor clutch. I've got a video somewhere on uh, testing that. I'll have to look and see. I'm not sure what it did with the video. I don't know. I don't think I ever uploaded it. Or maybe it got deleted. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, that's what I found wrong with it. The compressor clutch went out. Uh, or the coal went out. There's no, uh, no resistance when you own the uh, coal. So we're going to swap that out when we got the radiator out because it's easier to get to. In the meantime, we are going to uh, open this box up and make sure we got the right radiator here. Think about that, guys. Tick welded all aluminum. No plastic in tanks to crack or leak. So hopefully they uh, pressure tested this and everything like they should have. It looks really good so far from what I see. All right, guys, we're catching the antifreeze in the pan there, and the uh, intercooler's got to come out. The AC condenser's got to be taken loose and probably, I'll probably swing it out of the way and uh, take this bar out here, lay it out of the way so I can get the radiator to lean back a little bit and get it all up out of there. You see how much fun this is going to be. Oh well, we're gonna get started on it and uh, I'll try to film as much of it as I can but I'm not gonna film the whole thing because it'd just be too much uh, time. But uh, let's get started. Alright guys, uh, this is what we got going on. I got it all tore apart. I got coolers tied everywhere. I got the transmission cooler tied here with a strap. The power steering cooler is hanging on the ground. Got the air conditioner condenser here, uh, laid over and tied with a strap over here. Keep from having to disconnect any lines. I did manage to get it, uh, the radiator out without taking the fan off. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna work going back in. 
Uh, but it's pretty much a pain in the butt. But it's only taken me about an uh, hour and 15-ish, 20 minutes to get to this point. So not too bad. It'll probably take a little longer than that going back together, I'm sure. But uh, I got the uh, air conditioner uh, clutch off. And the coal is burnt up, you can tell by looking at it, that uh, it's had some issues there. Nothing shorted out in there. All the little bubbles. So I had to get that back together. Uh, here's the radiator that come out of it. With the plastic end tanks. Factory, factory Mopar. <coughs> And there's the one that's going back in it right there so I'm gonna get the compressor clutch started back up on there and then we'll get this thing put back together thinking about got my radiator I just took it out radiator hose back on and I want to show you guys you see those marks there where that uh, spring type hose clamp go if you reuse the hose and these spring type clamps make sure you get the uh, clamps back in those grooves if you don't it's a very good chance that it'll probably leak uh, I did not put a water pump on this thing I thought about it parts house you can get one for $50 if you get one from Cummins it's about 175 but I did not do that because if you get one from the parts house, it is a good chance that, uh, you know, with the quality of parts we get these days, it's a good chance it might like as soon as you put it on there. And uh, so this one's not leaking yet, so I didn't want to spend $50 uh, and just see, you know. Uh, the bearings felt good in this one. It didn't have any slack in it, so we'll hope for the best on that. I'm going to put this clamp back on here, I'll put some water in it or antifreeze in it, and we'll start it up. And uh, hopefully we'll be done with this. But uh, anyway, let's get to that. All right, guys, see how I got that clamp right there lined back up in the same spot in which it was? And we are ready to put some antifreeze in here. And my camera battery is getting low. Hey guys, 
I've got it all back together. Everything works. I don't see any leaks. Air condition works. I put uh, three gallons of antifreeze, one gallon of water, and three more quarts of water. So that'd be 1.75 gallons of water and three gallons of antifreeze. I don't know what the ratio works out to that. Somewhere around maybe 70% antifreeze or so. Uh, if anybody wanted to know that uh, radiator come from Uncle Cooling on eBay. Uh, there's a bunch of them that look just like that. I don't know what the difference is. Many of them, they may all be made by the same company for all I know. And uh, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the project. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.